Mission is still down. Wake up. Wake up, lady. Wake up. Bing bong.
chest doesn't seem to do much. Hey, 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 uh. Thanks, team. You really did a number on me, you rat. Thanks. Just wanna negotiate. Finally, baby steps increments. No more. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Yeah, you should. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be in time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. He tricked her. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. 
Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Hmm. Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Nice. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. Mm, what is it What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the, cipher's not so the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that information. I need the Cypher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Think like a protein. I know where it's going. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? Um, okay. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. You saved most of the infected. It'll 
take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I haven't found your workstation or data yet. Just keep it in mind while you're out there. Good luck, Commander. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. We can rebuild this place. We're stronger than the company gives us credit for. Cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. The lady who was doing that. Is she gonna be okay now? Thank you for everything you did. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be free again. What's his face for his brain out? Quite done. I mean, I was getting fed up of hearing his name in the last set, last sessions, but... Nah, I didn't want him to blow his face off. Thank you, for freeing us. You are most welcome. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Sure. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. 